For reference, I am 61 years old. I have all the usual concerns that we as aging women have. Lines, wrinkles, age spots, sagging, but I definitely believe that good, consistent skincare designed for your specific skin's needs and concerns can really, really make a difference. For me, my first step of my morning skincare routine is cleansing. Some people choose to just rinse their face with water in the morning. Other people choose to cleanse. There's a lot of controversy and discussion to cleanse or not to cleanse. I choose to cleanse every morning. I just feel like it helps wake up my face. It helps my skin feel refreshed. I think it helps get my circulation going. And certainly as we get into spring and summer, I might sweat at night. So I really, really do prefer to start with a nice, clean face. And of course, you are not gonna be surprised to see that I am still using my Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser. I have been using this for years. I am absolutely madly in love with this product. It has beautiful ingredients. It has jojoba, green tea, macadamia oil. I love the Mad Hippie skincare line I use. About a pump in the morning and a pump in the evening. It is just so refreshing. I apply it to dry skin. It does not sting my eyes. Oh, it just feels so good. So what I do in the morning is I try to spend a minute or two and just really do, I'm dipping my fingers in water here. I try to spend a minute or two in the morning and just really give my face a nice massage. Like I said, get the circulation going, get that lymphatic drainage going to reduce puffiness. And just make sure my skin is nice and clean. Of course, I usually do this in the bathroom, but my bathroom is not conducive to filming, so I am at my usual filming spot with a little bowl of water. And usually I would certainly massage this in for a longer period of time, but in the interest of time for a video, I am just going to rinse it off. And you know how much I adore my makeup erasers. Look at how cute this is. I picked this up at the Sephora sale. Actually, I picked up several of these because they were so cute. The makeup eraser is a microfiber um, cleansing cloth that is supposed to remove makeup and wash your face with just water. I don't use it that way. I always use a cleanser, but this is a really great way to do a final rinse after you have rinsed your face. Normally I would rinse my face with a few splashes at the sink and then do a final rinse with this. But because I'm at my desk here, I am going to rinse the cleanser off with my microfiber cleansing cloth. It's very soft, but yet it does a little bit of gentle physical exfoliation, which I really appreciate. Okay, I have an entire collection of these. You know, they come in all different colors. You can buy them all different places. I have a lipstick one. I have a floral one. I love my makeup eraser microfiber cleansing cloths. I have at least 10 of them. Anyway, cleansing is done. That is my first step in my morning skincare routine. Sukiyaka Suhada Urea Moisturizing Lotion. This has been a huge game changer in helping hydrate my skin. Now it says it's a lotion, but it is really a watery essence. You can see how watery it is. And it has urea, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid. And I just put it between my hands and I just press it into damp skin immediately after cleansing. Of course, all your skincare needs to go down your neck and on your chest and on the backs of your hands. I first bought this uh, Sukiyaka Suhada Urea Moisturizing Lotion about a year ago upon the recommendation of Penn Smith, who has the channel Penn Smith Skincare, and she, she's amazing. She's a master esthetician. I fell in love with it. In fact, this product was my, I think it was my number one skincare find of 2020. 
super, super hydrating. And previously it was always available on Amazon and then it completely disappeared. And for a while, nobody could find it anywhere. And I was super upset because I absolutely love it. It makes a huge, huge difference in the hydration of my skin. Luckily, it is now available for ordering on Walmart. So I highly recommend this. I absolutely love it. It is the first step after cleansing both AM and PM. And what I like to do is just let that sort of soak in, dry down. What it does, like I said, it adds and seals hydration with urea, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin. Okay, the next step in my skincare routine is vitamin C. I have been using a vitamin C serum for about 15 years. For many years, I used the very, very expensive SkinCeuticals C plus E plus Ferulic. For a long time, that was all we had available. And then five years ago, Timeless came out with a really good vitamin C serum, 20% L-ascorbic acid with ferulic acid and with vitamin E. And as far as I can tell, this is pretty much identical to the SkinCeuticals at a fraction of the cost. This is a one ounce, and I think this is $24, and I almost always get it on sale. What vitamin C does is it gives our skin antioxidant protection. And by that, it helps our skin fight off free radicals, which is what happens when our skin is exposed to the sun and to the elements and pollution. And so vitamin C helps our skin protect itself. Again, morning skincare is about protection. L-ascorbic acid is not only a powerful antioxidant, it helps brighten and reduce pigmentation. It helps stimulate collagen. It is sort of a gold standard. It is one of the ABCs of skincare, and I love it. Now, two downfalls for L-ascorbic acid. One is it can be very irritating. So if you have sensitive skin or rosacea or something like that, you might not be able to tolerate L-ascorbic acid. 20% is a pretty high percentage of L-ascorbic acid. So if you can't tolerate 20% L-ascorbic acid, you might be able to tolerate a lower level. And I know May Love makes a really good vitamin C serum at 15% L-ascorbic acid. But there are some people who just can't tolerate L-ascorbic acid. Remember, it can be irritating. So there are other vitamin C derivatives that are also very effective. Tetrahexadectyl ascorbate is one of the most popular ones available now. And I will list some vitamin C alternatives or derivatives in the description box that you might want to try if you can't tolerate vitamin C or if you can't tolerate L ascorbic acid. Timeless comes in an opaque pump bottle, which is really good. I use a couple of pumps, and it's really good to have your vitamin C um, packaged in an airtight, opaque packaging because like I said, vitamin C is very, very unstable and it can go bad very quickly. So I just, like I said, I use a couple of drops and I am just pressing this into my face. Now I try not to get it in my eyes because it is an acid and it will sting your eyes. Um, this timeless formula feels very hydrating. It absorbs really nicely into the skin. Okay, so that is my vitamin C every single day. I love it. I have been using this for about five years. I swear by it. Now, if you've seen some of my previous skincare routines, you might expect me to have um, a chemical exfoliant in my next step. Previously, I talked a lot about the Pixi Glow Tonic, which is a 5% glycolic acid toner, chemical exfoliation. I've also talked a lot about the Ordinary Lactic Acid. You can see that is almost gone. But because I'm now doing an exfoliating treatment mask a couple of evenings a week, I really haven't found the need to use a daily exfoliating serum. So I am currently not using a daily exfoliating serum. Again, if I 
feel like my skin is a little bit flaky or if I feel like my skin needs it, I will add it in. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I cleanse, I hydrate with my Sukiyaka Suhara, I use my vitamin C, and then I go straight in with my moisturizer. So you can see my skincare routine is quite a bit simpler than it used to be. I still love my CeraVe PM moisturizer. Now, CeraVe is drugstore priced. It is very high quality. It has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, also very good for our skin. I've used this for years. CeraVe is perfect for my spring and summer and I am pretty generous with this. Hydration is the name of the game for my skin. And I will just put that everywhere. Now, CeraVe does make an AM moisturizer, but the AM moisturizer contains a chemical sunscreen, and I do not like the AM moisturizer at all. That's why I use the PM moisturizer, and I have been using this both AM and PM. So what have we done? We have cleansed. It is very important to find a cleanser that's very gentle and that does not leave your skin feeling tight and dry, okay? And then we have used my Sukiyaka Hydrating Toner. Love this. We applied some vitamin C for antioxidant protection and hydrated. Now, my last step in my morning skincare routine. You got it, it is sun protection every single day, 365 days a year. I have so many sunscreens now that I'm in love with. So today I'm gonna use my Peter Thomas Roth. What is this? My Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Naked SPF 45. This is an all mineral sunscreen. It has vitamins A, C, and E. It has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It has a universal tint and it is beautiful under makeup. I am really in love with this sunscreen. Here's the thing with sunscreen. Very important to use a quarter teaspoon on your face and a quarter teaspoon on your neck. So I'm gonna show you a method to measure your sunscreen that is supposed to be a very effective to get the right amount of sunscreen. It's called the two finger method. So basically the two finger method is taking your sunscreen and applying along the length of two fingers, just like mustard on a hot dog, right? Okay, there is the sunscreen applied to one finger. So two fingers would be a quarter of a teaspoon. Now the other thing I really like to do is to layer my sunscreen. I tried applying two fingers to my face yesterday. It took forever for it to soak in. So layering your sunscreen is really a great way to I don't know, just more easily get your sunscreen on and have it soak in. So I'm gonna apply one finger onto my skin right now. Oh gosh, I love the way that feels. I apply it all over, I apply it on my eyes. This does not bother my eyes at all. Chemical, you, I would never be able to put chemical sunscreen anywhere near my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna have to look in a mirror. Okay, now I've only applied one finger worth, right? So I'm gonna let that soak in for a moment while we keep chatting, and then I will apply the second finger worth. The other thing I like to do when I'm applying sunscreen is I'll take a little sponge and just sort of wipe it out of my eyebrows and just, I don't like to have sunscreen in my hairline. So I'm not really removing it, I'm just sort of creating that little I'm just taking it off of my hair there. So we'll apply the second finger worth of sunscreen. And you wanna be generous with it. You really need to make sure you're getting enough sunscreen onto your face. Okay. This Peter Thomas Roth has such a pretty tint. It just disappears into the skin, making sure you're getting it on your ears. Now, I have a white t-shirt on, so I don't want to get my tinted sunscreen onto it 
right now, so I'm not going very far down my nag. And what I do usually do is I will use an untinted mineral sunscreen on my neck and chest just because I don't want it to get on my clothing. All right, sunscreen is on. Now, before I put my makeup on, I am going to allow this sunscreen to set down for about 10 or 15 minutes. This sunscreen works beautifully under makeup, but if you go in too quickly with makeup, it, you know, the makeup won't apply as nicely. My very last step in my morning skincare routine is my lips. What I have been loving is the City Lips Lip Plumping Lip Gloss, and I love it not so much because it's a lip plumper, although I do think it makes my lips look just a little bit fluffier. I don't think it actually makes them fuller, but it is such an incredibly hydrating product. I use it and with my skincare before my makeup and it just prehydrates my lips so my lipstick goes on really, really nicely. Ah, oh, I love this stuff. So hydrating and I did want to mention this today because I think today for Mother's Day it is buy one get one free this City Lips lip gloss is expensive it's $35 a tube but I just finished a tube that I opened last I know I opened it last Thanksgiving because I got it during the Black Friday sale anyway recently they had a buy one get one free and I bought four of these so I am set for a while but I did want to mention it today because I do think they are having a buy one get one free sale for Mother's Day and that's a perfect time to pick it up I absolutely love it I use it in the morning with my skincare I use it in the evening with my skincare as a sleeping mask at night and it lives in my purse and I apply it throughout the day I absolutely love it all right I hope you enjoyed my updated AM spring summer skincare routine and if you did enjoy it i would love it if you'd throw it a thumbs up that really does help support my channel and it is mother's day today so i want to wish each and every one of you a happy mother's day whether you are a mother or a grandmother or a sister an aunt a daughter i hope you have a really nice mother's day you know as we get older many of us have lost our mothers so it can be a sad time and i know in the last year and even now, many of us are not able to spend the time with our loved ones that we would like to. But with all that being said, I hope you plan something special for yourself. Um, I hope to, weather permitting, get my window boxes planted. That's something my mom and I always used to do together. And so that really reminds me of her. And my late sister's daughter, my niece, she and I are hoping to get the kayaks out and spend some Mother's Day time together. I, my daughter lives in California, so I won't be able to see her, but she is visiting at the end of May, so I am looking very much forward to that. All that being said, I hope you have a beautiful, happy Mother's Day and a great week, and I hope to see you in my video next Sunday. Thank you. Bye. Cleanse. Tsukiyaka Huda. Oh my gosh. So here is my sunscreen. Okay. I, I don't need to say that. Up, oh, my hair is all crazy. So wait the steps between your, you know, okay, let's start over.